All right, what are they about to put my boy Luffy into? What kind of absolute beast is this thing? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss or I Shinobi. We have episodes 351 and 352 of our One Piece watch through today. In the last two, we saw the body that Gecko Mori is playing to put Luffy's shadow into, and it didn't disappoint to say the least. They, they, he said it was the only berserker. They say from hell? I don't remember. This, this giant monstrosity named Ors? Either way, we're going to hop right into it to see what goes down. If you knew the channel, drop us up and hit that bit with bell and let's get started are they undoing the chains oh oh gecko is walking on them oh yeah and here i was sitting thinking gecko was a big fella this thing is like 20 times his size struggle shadow luffy struggle so just throwing the shadow in just immediately just resurrect ors God dang. That's not even a giant, bro. That's bigger than a giant. Yeah. In retrospect, that looks bigger than, than Broggy and Dory. I think in comparison. Hmm? Look at him go. Come on, buddy. Fight back. Oh, dang. He kind of just gave up. Oh, how kind of you. Wow! He's got like complete control over shadows. Oh my gosh. Wait, so he can he can like tell a shadow what to do. Oh my. Yikes! Why does he always comment on it? And he always is a pun too. He's a gooster, man. Chopper, they are bound to see you, brother. Oh, he just hits it against the body? I thought he was gonna like put it in his, in his mouth or something. Oh yeah, it just absorbs it. The Mario does. I mean, on the bright side, they technically still have Luffy. He just doesn't have his shadow and it's just like a whole part of him's missing. And the sun would kill him instantly, I guess. Gecko Moria's footsteps, I just realized are like choppers, but like amplified times 20. All right, now what? And before it doesn't even work. All right, I spoke way too soon. Uh, those those chains are not going to hold him very long. So I was going to say they had to kill him, but he, uh, Hogback said they found his body in the land of ice. And they just drug it all the way here. Well, I guess Thor Barks an island. They could have taken it to the land of ice. Maybe. I don't know. It's not even just 900. It's SC 900. You know what that sound effect is? I just realized was uh, Inaru's resurrection whenever he was bringing himself back to life. I know that sound effect anywhere. I'm not gonna lie, putting Luffy into something like this is pretty like, I feel like it's sort of a gamble for both sides, but I don't know if they've seen the experience of, of Shadows disobeying like Sanji's did in the, the Penguin Dog. Like what if there's any part of Luffy inside of this giant monster get, that can disobey and have like free will? That would change everything about this. Or are you just gonna keep teasing me? Put it in! Oh no, Chopper's gonna scream. Oh no. You guys cannot be serious right now. You cannot be serious. Dog, he tried to tell you. My bride. These fools, man. I cannot. All right, well, time to see how mindless this zombie is. God dang, dude. He's a monstrosity. Holy. Just wipe some ice off himself. Sindri dipped out of there. <laughs> Oh, there is a, there's a, there's a hint of Luffy in that. I heard it. That's the same Luffy, bro. That is the same Luffy. Oh, oh, Frankie's dead. The most damage that Frankie has taken in Thrower Bark thus far. Did Gecko Moria mess up by doing this? Thank Kumasi. After all the torment and, and, and like how mean she is to him, he still obeys and he, and he saves her from falling. Kumasi, she don't deserve Kumasi. Okay, well, I guess it's not a big problem that they fell out anymore. Yeah. Now zoom. They don't waste any goddamn time. Where's my bride? Boy, can they run. He's already looking for Sanji. 
Okay. It's like half and half so far. And I think Gecko Mori is realizing he might have made a mistake. I feel like it might have something to do with like how strong the Shadow's original will is. Like who the person is they take it from. And Luffy is Luffy. Like he doesn't falter really. He's always very sure of himself in everything he does. Yeah, guys, we, we, we've we uh, established zombies already. It's a much simpler process than I anticipated. Yeah, you can assume there's part of them in there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be just like trying to reach that person deep down in there. Because even Penguin Sandy was like, well, who am I? Like he was like getting really existential the last time we saw him. There might be a chance. And then that zombie has, has Brooke. And now we know that's the move Brooke use, uses as well. I think I've got the whole picture like pretty set in stone. A mockery of human life. Ooh. Hey, Chopper, I told you, pal. Never meet your idols. Yeah, well, they're knocked out for two days now. Sanji and Luffy and Zoro. Three big hitters. Dumb, dumb, and dumb are going to need to show up or... Uh, or. Oh, I guess Robin and Frankie already kind of have. We still got Brooke as well. Oh, no. how did he catch up with them? Oh, my gosh. Bro has fire bombs as well? How much do you have hidden up your sleeve, brother? Didn't light his bride on fire though. So he can turn invisible, is part like lion tiger and can set people on fire from a distance? Or maybe he touched them. It's just really always uncomfortable whenever he like, he's grabbed her or when he licked Robin. Everything with this guy is just really uncomfortable. What, you're gonna kill them? Or consume her? Yeah, maybe we have a different idea what marriage is, buddy. Oh, shoot. Let's go, Usopp. Time to pop off, baby. That weapon. No way! Does Chopper still not realize Usopp was Soga King? There is no way! Oh my gosh, it is so painful, man. You gotta love him, though. Oh, so if he's touching you, he takes you with you, takes you with him in invisibility. Oh, and it, I wonder if they moved out of the way in time or if it actually physically you can't can't touch him. I guess that's how the ghosts were. That devil for power is pretty sick. I won't even lie. Oh, she's gone, gone. And then there were two. It's all gonna rely on Frankie and Robin getting to them because they have the salt and they have the key to taking down the zombies. That changes everything. But how much salt do they have? They better have a fat supply. Wow, they're awfully in sync. No, his antler! Wait, had he not seen the zombie paintings yet? Oh my gosh. It's hard to remember everybody's perspectives. We've seen so many. Usopp, why are you trying to yell? Just fight back, bro. Oh my God, they already lost. That didn't, it took no time at all. He's crawling out. Hang on, Chopper. Okay, that was the most Scooby-Doo ass thing I've ever seen in the entirety of this. Dude, these zombies are so useless, it's insane. I guess they have numbers, that's kind of the whole thing. But like in comparison to the generals, man, there she is, mommy to save the day, classic. And Papa's here. And the, Frankie's more of like the, the like strange uncle. Where did he put the salt? They're just gonna start freeing everybody. Super! Well, they know right away what's going on. So are they just indoctrinated? Would they not want to be freed? Their souls inside? I guess it depends on how much is left and how like brainwashed Gecko Moria has made them. They're just in the crowd. Big bro. Oh, <laughs> Chopper's little face. Oh. Well, they would not last five seconds alone. They didn't last five seconds alone, quite frankly. All right, well, now we have like sort of a ragtag squad together, but people are still insanely split up and I don't know what we're gonna do about uh, Luffy, Zoro, and, and Sanji. It's just kind of disastrous. Two days? Episode 352, let's go. Oh, he's running back to the samurai, right? Well, you got kicked down once. Just gotta keep going. Can't let him knock you down permanently. 
Let's get it, Brooke. Come on, baby. That's gotta be frustrating to see like a part of you just taken and put in someone else. Tell him. Tell him. The Ryuma. So he was, I'm assuming, just insanely like talented swordsman. So he has his body, but Brooke's sort of soul. I wonder if Zoro will have heard of Ryuma if he was as talented as he's claiming to be. It's carried down a big staircase. Oh wait, back to the yeah, back to the ship. Can't let the physical body die you didn't start with that oh my gosh it does not look like they have much i'm gonna be honest how do you explain that hmm. well if they do get back to the ship and they took the bodies back to the ship then everybody will be together aside from rook i guess but brook's got his own sort of side quest going on here that's our whole team baby Oh my gosh, that food is enormous. Giga Warriors are staring. Dog, you cannot be serious. And then she, she's not even going to listen to his explanation. So it seems like he has like the ability to talk. He'll probably be able to talk to him and have him sort of molded into who he wants Luffy to be or Ors to be. Like, this feels like a sort of situation like Frankenstein. Like, Frankenstein's monster is going to become so powerful, he'll be able to overpower Frankenstein himself. Frankenstein being Gecko Moria. All the food? All the treasure rooms in the basement. Ah. She's like, I hope we all die. Classic Optimus Sindri. Hey, Sindri, I'm going to be honest. You can come join our side. All we got is us and Brooke, and that's it. Another zombie? Oh, we'll take it. Wait, I wonder if... So if they if they freed Sindri's soul, it would just go to nothing, though, right? Because, like, her original soul was dead? How does that even work? Now that I think about it. It's an entire mission just to take luffy dash Or's food. They're going to run out still. This is just, like, his first meal of the day. A salted fish? Oh, my... Oh my gosh, I just realized. Anything lightly salted? Oh my goodness. That would be hilarious though. They accidentally give him a little bit of fish. I think that's it. That's a large fish. Does it have to be a certain amount of salt or is it like even one tiny speckle? Yeah, because he's going to want to eat it either way. I feel like it's not going to do anything. There's no way. He gets put in this body and then just kicked out right away. He's gonna throw it out. Oh my gosh. Dude, these three are literally trying to save the entire master plan. What is that? I can't even tell what was. Yeah, this Oars thing was was an absolute monster when it was alive. Oh no! Oh shoot. All it would have taken was the fish. Holy. Dragging the body away. Get rid of the evidence. Serve. Yeah, I was gonna say, why is he? Why is he gotta serve you? Wait, he said he has his own dream. He's talking about Luffy's. Yeah, he's already disobeying. Oh my gosh, dog! What boat is gonna fit you? Dog, what has Gecko created? Dude, his design looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Is this what he wanted? He doesn't look nervous or like worried. So he retains none of his physical abilities. He's strict. He's still got the same dream. I said he doesn't falter. I'm still shocked that, that Gecko, like this is his whole plan. But I, like I said, I'm assuming it has something to do with his, his devil fruit power in terms of like how he actually does have control over zombies that he's he's taking shadows out of and putting something else like he has some mental control over them or something <laughs> anything but my afro dang is he worried about getting the afro cut i think they look quite quite polite like look how chill they look <laughs> the idiot that's how he found out some zombies trying to cook some fish Oh, this is what we saw in Hogbacks, yeah. Oh my gosh, what a threat. With salt. Oh, he didn't realize it was salt at first. Why could it not possibly be salt? God dang, Hogback, you just give up your entire hand, don't you, brother? Just, just no poker face whatsoever. 
Poor boy, bro. He sounds so stressed over a grasshopper. Oh. I'll sing. Oh. And unfortunately, the one his shadow is in is not just any regular zombie. That sucks. But Gogo did say he puts the strongest souls in the strongest bodies. Why he wanted Luffy's for oars. So this is how he got the name Humming Swordsman? Just running around freeing people? He's like a, a horror villain to them. The skeleton running around, exercising you. So he did the same physical bit from the last episode. He's so goofy, man. I'm kind of surprised Brooke didn't just like, like stay on this island and try to permanently like free people. He could have just wiped them all out really slowly, to be honest. I mean, I, I assume he wiped out a decent amount though. And as soon as he said it like that, he knew, I bet. At last we meet. What a showdown. Now the question is how clapped did he get? Because clearly they already reunited at the, the castle whenever he kicked him down or he fell off the second story. It's not even close, man. How does he else warn himself? Yeah, he stands no chance, man. That's so sad. In death, he has slowed down. Dang. At the very least. I mean, all he has to do is get like a little bit of salt on him, right? Or in him? Like he cuts him with it? Oh, yeah. That's so sad, actually. Wait, did he cut some of it? I can't even tell. It doesn't look that much smaller. Well, now I, I, I really actually do understand the importance of it. He loves his hair so much and he would never get any, any more if it was even remotely cut. Why does he always leave like an in indent where he falls? Is it because of how light he is? No, that wouldn't make sense. It would be the opposite. A dirty move? Bro, you have his soul! Dang. I think he stands a chance though. Getting back to him and fighting him? Brooke can do it. Or now. I was just about to say, he can't even kill Brook even if he wanted to. He would lose his soul since it's rented. That is so sad, actually. Just like an injured animal. Give it to him, baby! Come on, Brook! Get your shadow back! Damn! Damn! Let's go! He's been on that training arc. Where is he? I bet he's going to the treasure room, to be honest. Cause didn't uh, Lola say the treasure room was near his room? Oh my gosh, he's gonna actually have the wedding. Bro, she ain't gonna say I do. Unless it's a different type of wedding. Measuring her for a dress? Oh God. Dude, Absalom has, I don't know if this is gonna be in a popular opinion when you guys are seeing my reaction to this, but he has to be the just like weirdest part about the lower bark. And th 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 that says a lot, seeing as the entire situation we are currently in. But there's some interesting uh, like kind of developments in terms of going back and forth between Luffy being in oars and kind of figuring that out and getting a little bit more info as to uh, when Brooke, I'm not really lost his shadow, but uh, originally encountered who had his and how it all went down. Setting up for what i'm guessing is going to be a really sick fight between the two and we're only getting started on that one i'm not sure if i'm too optimistic like overly optimistic but i feel like there's a lot more luffy in there than gecko is is betting on and it's really gonna work out in our favor but at the same time uh, we're, again it's thor bark who knows what's gonna happen it's been curveballs left after left after right but guys that's been it for episodes 351 352 over one piece watch through do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace